Hey all, it's Josh with Battle Bond, and I'm here with Sebastian. And uh, we're gonna play some Middle Earth strategy battle game for you. Okay, so why don't you tell me what you brought today, Sebastian? I brought the original sword and model right here, uh, followed by two normal Heradium Riders with war spears. Nice. And second war band is Ooh. somewhat fully loaded Mumak with a whole bunch of archers and a couple of the Karna dual wielded warriors. Plus some grappling upgrades and gnarl hide, which was a bad choice, but it's there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is so awesome. I'm so excited to see this in action. Okay, so I'm bringing the Dead of Dunharo for you guys today. And just so you guys know, um, Sebastian knew what army I was bringing before he made his list, so he decided to bring the Mumak regardless. So I don't want to hear any complaining about this being a hard counter against it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just go over my list here. So we've got the King of the Dead, and um, all of my warriors are going to have shields. So we've got seven with just hand weapons, um, and then it turns out I didn't have quite enough models to make 600 points. So this um, Dead Marsh Spectre is going to be moonlighting as a, a Army of the Dead model. And then we've got uh, three models with spears and shield, obviously, and then one with a banner and two Riders of the Dead. And then over here, we've got a Herald. And the Warband is basically the same three spears and seven hand weapons and two riders. So we will come back with our deployment and our mission and we'll go from there. The scenario that we rolled up is actually hold ground, which has maelstrom deployment. So obviously we're not gonna be deployed yet. And we'll just do kind of uh, an overview of the battlefield. Don't mind the uh, Mumak and stuff that's on there. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna roll for priority right now. So I got a two, Spashing got a one. All right, so I get to roll for mine first. So we'll come back to you guys after the end of the move phase to see who comes on and who doesn't. If you like what you're watching and want to help support the channel, check out our shop at etsy.com slash shop slash Battlebond Miniatures, where we sell a variety of proxy models, terrain, and game accessories by creators such as Sarley Factory that can be used for a variety of tabletop games. Use our discount code up on the screen for 10% off your next order. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and now back to the video. Okay, so we finished our rolls and deployment for our Maelstrom. So I rolled a five, and I brought in the King of the Dead and his warband over here for him. And then I rolled a two, and Sebastian had me put my other warband over here. And then Sebastian went, and he got a, a four for Siladan, who's just over here. And then he got a six for his Mumak, so he decided to bring him close to Siladan. So that's kind of where we're set up right now. So we'll come back with some shooting from the Mumak. Okay, so we're coming back at the end of the shooting phase. So the uh, crew on the Mumak shot over everything into the cavalry, and they managed to kill the horse on one of them. Um, we don't have any dismounts, either of us, so we just put a dice next to the one who's actually going to be on foot and uh, we'll replace them once we get a foot model that dies. So obviously we have no combats, so we will do our priority roll. All right, priority for, oh, it's me. Yes. <laughs> do not uh, want to go first right now. No, do you want to call anything? No. I, yeah, I'm not going to call anything either with my one might on the board. So uh, we'll come back after some movements. Come back to you guys at the end of the movement phase. So this war band obviously just moved up here, get closer to the center. And then the Mumak turned and trampled over here and only managed to kill three of the dead. So I got really lucky with that. One of the, <laughs> one of the sets of rolls came up with no fours. Um, yeah, so Soledan also followed up behind here. We'll uh, come back with some shooting. Okay, so shooting from the crew on the Mumak was ineffective at best, <laughs> and nothing died from that. So obviously no combats. So we are moving on to priority. It's a four. 
One. Okay, so it's me once again. Would you like to call something? Yes, the Mumak leader will call a heroic move. Cool. I have no might over there, so I can't counter. So That was my is, hope. It is the move. <laughs> uh, we'll come back after that. Okay, so we actually just double-checked it. We made a mistake. Um, this is our first time with either of us using one of these beasts, so we're actually going to be doing a fight phase with the Mumak versus the one guy he didn't get to kill. So we'll come back with the results of that. Okay, so coming back at the end of the movement phase. Um, so what I thought was going to be kind of a walkthrough on the Mumak turns out uh, he can just walk through me. <laughs> so I lost another three undead, but he got halted on my Herald, who passed both his fate rolls and is down to one wound, but still alive. Um, and then you can see I charged over here. And then the rest of my guys are just kind of moving up here. So uh, yeah, we'll come back with some shooting and some combats. Okay, shooting is done. So all the guys up here decided to target the riders over here. Did absolutely nothing. <laughs> and I did also forget to mention the last combat phase, the Mumak won and killed the guy he was in combat with. Um, so we do have a couple combats here. So we've got this guy, so a cavalry on a cavalry. And then we've got uh, four riders and the Herald in with the Mumak. So uh, we'll come back with those. Okay, so we're going to do the Herald plus three versus the Mumak right now. So uh, I actually have a higher fight, I think. Fight so, four versus fight four? Oh, okay, we're tied. So looking for big six. So we got a six. Uh, no. Awesome. So we win. The Mumak doesn't move, though. Yep. And I'm looking for fours to wound the Mumak. So we got four. So <laughs> Mumak takes four wounds. All right. All right. Priority for next round. Crazy. So five. Uh, so it's st still evil. I don't have any might, but I'm winning the priority rolls. That's what matters. So what would you like to call in? I'm burning the might for sure. Yeah. Uh, from the guy on the Mumak? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I have nothing over there to counter. So the Mumak's just going to do the heroic move again. And then uh, we'll come back after the moves are done. Okay, so we're back again at the end of the movement phase. So dead, just kind of moving up and spreading out. Going to try to keep him six inches, over six inches away from the center. Um, this cavalry is coming up to help support, hopefully. We got a charge over here. Sebastian got a charge over here on the Herald. And then the Mumak killed three other guys. So these guys are kind of just sitting out in the wind over here. Um, so we'll do some shooting and we'll come back with that. Okay, so shooting actually did something this time. So um, all the riders up here targeted the two knights over here. And as you can see, one of them got dehorsed. So yeah, unfortunate for me, but uh, it happens. We'll come back with some combat. Okay, so last combat of the round is going to be the Herald versus this rider. So it's going to be two dice apiece. I think I have higher fight this time, right? Or do you? Ooh, doesn't matter. Yeah, I have no might or anything, so knock him down, and you get to do your strike. So his defense is seven. Six out of four. So I got four. Four dice, yep. Four dice. Wow. One six, and he's dead. Oh. There it is. All right, so he's dead, and the undead are actually one model off of breaking at this point. So let's do priority. See how that goes. Four. Five. All right. So you get it this time. Would you like to call anything? No. Yeah, me neither. So we will come back after movement. Okay, so end of the movement phase. So the army of the dead moved up here to kind of block and uh, hopefully keep uh, guys outside of six of the center. This guy's kind of just hanging out there. Um, the one rider managed to charge the Mumak. Uh, the Mumak trampled through the other rider, killed him, and then Suladan's kind of leading from over here. So we've got some shooting, and then we will come back with the one combat. Okay, so shooting went from here into this guy, did absolutely nothing. <laughs> so we just got the one combat, so we'll do that, and then we'll come back with the end of the round. <laughs> okay, so um, no surprise, the uh, rider got squished, unfortunately. So we're just going to roll to see if the, the game ends here. And uh, if it does, it's going to be pretty... Good prio, so I'm going to give it to you. Outstanding victory. All right. Come on. I'll, I'll roll it. So one or two, game ends. That's a six. It continues. Okay. 
So we'll uh, move on to the next round and see what happens after that. Six. So priority roll. Um, oh, yeah, you had it last round, so it's you. Okay. Would you like to call anything? No. Yeah, me neither. So we'll come back after some moves. Okay, so Sebastian actually decided he wanted to do a march with Siladan. So marched up, brought the Mumak with him. Um, the Mumak killed another three dead, uh, but it's still not quite within six inches of the center. And uh, obviously those guys aren't. So dead decide to swarm. And uh, this will probably be the combat that decides the game one way or the other. Uh, so we'll do some shooting. They're going to shoot into the... Um, banner right here, and then uh, we'll come back with some combats. Okay, so shooting proved completely ineffective. Banner's still alive. So we're going to come back with uh, Suladan fighting these two guys right here. So we'll see how that goes. Um, they got the charge, so it's just Suladan's base attacks. Yep. Go for it. Oh, we got the six. Oh, yeah. Fight five. Fight five, yep. Doesn't matter. So uh, over to you. Four, strength four, so yep, six sixes. Sixes. Yeah. Oh. Two sixes. All right. So okay. he's gonna he's gonna kill that guy right there in the front. All right. So uh last combat of the game is gonna be Mumak versus the king plus three. <laughs> yeah. So I don't have different colored dice here. So we'll, we'll start with the king and he has higher fight, right? Yeah. So I just need one six. Do um, you want your banner we roll on him? Uh well I have the three other ones too. Okay. Yeah, that's that was just for the, the king. Uh so five high. Okay. Come on. Six high. All right. I guess I, I have to re-roll because I didn't get the five with the king. Uh, nope. So Mumak wins. <laughs> that is so lucky. And who, the who are you might, striking? Right? Um, we'll try and take the take the king down. Okay. Looking for fours. Oh. That's three right. wounds. Uh, yeah. So I have three fate. So fate, no. Fate, no. Fate, no. All right, so he's dead. <laughs> okay, so we're going to roll to see if the game ends. I priority, so it's my roll? Yep. One or two? No. Three. All right, so uh, we're just going to call it there because there's no way I can stop him at this point. He's just going to trample over in, stand there, and probably kill the rest of my guys. So <laughs> good game, good game. The final score is going to be 12 for Suladan and nothing for the Army of the Dead. <laughs> um, yeah, as far as the game goes, I think the the Maelstrom deployment really kind of screwed me, actually. Being so close to the, the Mumak men, he could just trample through with impunity. And I didn't really have anything to retaliate with, unfortunately. So, yeah, I don't know. Sebastian, what do you think? Yeah, I think the Maelstrom was just a really fortunate uh, roll-off for me because I got to place Josh over here and both of my warbands were over here. And yeah. Josh, not having any might here on his Herald, allowed me to get three full moves off. And I think that sealed a lot of the early game for sure. We had an unlucky roll-off against the King who could have potentially one-shot the Mumak, but the dice didn't allow it. Yeah, and even uh, the game ending... Uh, like those two two rolls beforehand, if if that would have happened, it would have been like a a seven two victory or yeah. a seven one victory or whatever yeah. for the undead. So oh well, can't beat your dice, right? It is what it is. Um, Mumak is really fun when he tramples. <laughs> uh, so if you like what you're watching, make sure to give us a like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys again for some more Middle Earth strategy battle game battle reports.